Look at how beautiful this is, you guys. Oh my gosh. It is so, so, so pretty. I love these mountains. Look at how they are just covered with tropical, beautiful, lush plants. Look at this really cool little staircase. Oh my gosh, is that a sun bear? Oh, hang on, hang on. This is very essential that we go ahead and pop down here to see what kind of wonderful Ursuline this is. And I do believe, look at that. It's our very first glimpse at the new sun bear. Oh, look at the size of those claws. Wow. No wonder they're one of the most arboreal of all the bear species. They can probably shimmy themselves straight up a tree trunk. No problem with those honkers. But all right. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Is this a new enrichment thing? I love this hammock. This is so cool. I've never seen this hammock before. I don't know if that's actually something like all the bears can have or if this is new because I don't know how many times I've played with our bears, but we are definitely gonna be playing with these bears here in the brand new Southeast Asian Animal Pack. Welcome everyone to the wonders of the brand new Scenario Zoo, Kalua Bintu Taman. Come and visit the stunning views and the unique animals of East Asia in Kalua Bintu Taman. While you are here, can you increase the zoo's profit margin and shop revenue before the next financial year? So it is another Scenario Career Zoo, my friends, and I'm actually extremely excited about that because with the latest update that has also just rolled out for free with the uh, the 30th also being the release of the animal pack there's a lot of really fun stuff going on today new animals in the animal pack fantastic new updates that are going to allow us to be able to enjoy the ability to put down multiple zoo entrances we'll talk more about that later to add in a whole bunch of billboards where I hope very soon to have some of your guys amazing fan art and pictures from your zoos shown off again we'll talk more about that later and of course the arrival of the newest DLC pack which includes Eight new animals! Eight! Eight new animals! Count that! Not one, not two, not three, four, five, six, or even seven. Eight new animals, including several of the ones that some of you have favored for so, so, so long. We had a whole bunch of, let's see, clouded leopard fans, and we'll have to see if we have a beautiful feline hiding somewhere in these very lush and tropical peaks for all of you. Oh, look! And we have some Indian elephants over here! Hello, everybody! I hope you guys are having a good time. Oh good, we have a really happy like zookeeper over here. Hello! Hello ma'am, we're actually going to rename you after one of our amazing patrons who make all of these adventures possible. Did she just say that she's investigating, inspecting the proboscis monkeys? <gasps> proboscis monkeys? <gasps> the proboscis monkeys! Look at the size of that schnoggin! That snow is on that noggin, I guess. I meant to say like nog, like schnoz, but then it, I was also looking at their noggin. So you know what? New word, a schnoggin. Used to define, oh my gosh, are you guys cuddling? Oh, look at that group like activity. I don't think they were mating. We'll see, were they mating? I don't think so, because are they mates? Yeah, those two are actually mates, so the mates were actually just spending a little bit of time together. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, look, he was trying to, like, preen her and go ahead. She, He is preening her. Oh, my gosh, or grooming, I should say. Sorry, I'm such a bird fan, like, big bird fanatic, that, of course, I would immediately say preening instead of grooming. That is so much fun to see how happy these guys are together, or at least would be together if they had more enrichment. Holy cow! Oh, my gosh, we'll have to get them some toys. But you guys, this is all, oh, look at them, they're climbing the tree. Oh, I love it when they actually interact with like the environment that you put down, because that's really cool if you ask me. But all right, guys, so welcome, welcome to the new pack. We are going to be exploring some of the new animals, which include not only the proboscis monkey and the sun bear, but we also have the addition of the clouded, was that, was that? <gasps> it's a giraffe! You guys, two giraffes! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> yes, look, the giraffe is not new. It's been there since day one, but they still are my favorite animal of all time, and I am so tickled that apparently they are actually part of a... Mm -hmm of this new scenario zoo. So hopefully I won't be too distracted by their beautiful fluffy ossicones and those long necks, their gorgeous spots. 
Yes, my dear, I do think that you are absolutely fantastic. I'll be back to watch after you and provide you with plenty of enrichment very soon. But, all right, I was once again distracted, friends. So let's go ahead and see what all of the different animals that we have inside of this brand new scenario zoo are, because we're gonna try to do our best to complete this scenario, hopefully all the way up to gold level. We only have an hour and four minutes in order to do that, phooey. But we will carry on here as long as it takes us in order to get through the whole scenario. And that means that we need to have at least 18 different habitat animals in the zoo. Right Right now we have 12 different types of animals and we need to have yeah different species okay and they all need to have their welfare up around 85 percent they're at 75 right now because it looks like everybody needs some toys they we need to get one animal to level five star rating which shouldn't be too hard with a bunch of elephants and other very popular animals here and oh man if we have a clouded leopard i have a feeling that that will be very easy to get the five star rating so we're gonna have to search and see if we have a clouded leopard soon we need to earn a yearly shop profit of ten thousand dollars we need to pay off all of our loans and this one's going to be a little tricky for me we need to build a suspended gondola transport ride Ooh, that's so cool what a wonderful way to be able to go ahead and explore this beautiful and unique new scenario zoo and also to hopefully have some challenges to keep us engaged while we explore some of the new animals that come with this pack so let's go ahead and see who else we have really quickly so we have got ourselves <gasps> A Baba Rusa! So we do have a Baba Rusa! Is he hanging out? He's hanging out with a female! So we do indeed have a male Baba Rusa with those twirly, twirly tusks. Look at that! Did you guys know they can actually grow those tusks so long that they will turn back into their skull and fuse with their skull? That is possibly not a great thing to happen, but I suppose that trait would be passed on genetically as long as the male is able to find a female to breed with before his own tusks come to get him perhaps, then I could see how that would be a trait that you would never bother evolving out because it would be considered successful as long as he can stay alive long enough to leave behind some babies. And who knows, maybe this handsome, handsome male here will end up becoming the five star celebrity of our zoo. I'm kind of excited to see who's going to become the five star animal of our zoo. That's going to be amazing. But that again is one of the new animals that comes in this. Are those the Bentrog? That comes in the Southeast Asian pack. And we have Bentrog! Oh, they're so cute! Okay, let's go ahead and we're going to become experts at visiting here at around noon so that we can see everybody a little bit better and we'll enjoy the darker nights when we have a little bit of time to relax i hope you guys are ready all right stretch a little bit there you go mountain pose stretch excellent little yoga form there reach down touch your toes you guys ready to put on your zookeeper outfit and help me out lace up those zookeeper boots and we're going to do our best to prove that the pixel biologist can take on any of the challenges that this zoo has to throw at us including balancing some binturong enjoyment so we're going to get the binturongs really happy here soon too the binturongs are also known as bear cats and one of the things that for some reason people love 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 talking about whenever they talk about binturongs is the fact that the binturongs urine actually smells like buttered popcorn the reason for that is a unique protein that they excrete with their urine and it's just a trait that apparently humans think is hilarious so every time anyone ever talks about the binturong around me the next sentence i hear is hey did you know that their their urine smells like buttered popcorn i think that's funny there's a lot of other awesome things to learn about binturong but it always has tickled me that that's like at least a fact that sticks for the bear cats <laughs> And of course, they are not the only ones who actually, are you trying to make some more binturongs here, Ananda? Pari the Indian elephant certainly is. Wait a second, Ika is so much smaller. I think he's just a small binturong, but I actually don't know if binturong males tend to be smaller than females, so that's going to be interesting to see. Ananda, look at you. But binturongs are related distantly to the civet in Africa, and the civet in Africa also has the same trait, where their urine actually excretes the same protein and smells like buttered popcorn. 
In addition, the leopard in Africa also leaves behind territory scent markings that apparently smell like buttered popcorn too. Again, same thing about the protein that they excrete in their urine. So if you're ever like, you know, in Asia, in a jungle and smelling buttered popcorn might be a binturong. And if you're in Afri like the African bush and you smell buttered popcorn, it's either an extremely lost tourist or you have actually stumbled upon somewhere where a leopard has recently left some scent markings or potentially a civet has been running by. And we'll talk more about civets and binturongs later. For now, we're not done going down the animal list, my friends. So let's go ahead and see the doll who I know so many of you guys have been waiting for because look at, wow, look at them. Also known by some common names as the fox wolf, the doll are the only native canid species to Asia. Wow, look at that, which means that they basically fill in the ecological role and niche that you could expect wolves to do through much of the rest of the world, or you expect the dingo to do in Australia. And I know very little about Dole. Hello, beautiful. Oh, you guys, are you guys just hanging out, or are you- <gasps> They're trying to make some new Dole babies! I am 100% behind that, Neil. Oh, we've got some new doll babies coming, you guys. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, we're going to need some names for those pups. And we're also going to need to really educate all of our guests about these amazing canids. So that hopefully we will be able to uh, work on that scenario challenge. But this is always so satisfying to be able to watch the canids, like the wolves, the dingoes, the painted dogs, now the doll, run around in Planet Zoo because the, the animation of their expression seeing those there we go seeing those social relationships between the animals there's something very evocative about that that i think we all love seeing that that shadow of the familiar with with our own dogs like dogs who have made up lives with us and stories with us and it's fun to see some of their distant wild cousins this like explaining and distributing some of the same behavior Oh, I just, I get caught up in watching these because they're so cool. Look at their little house. They have a cute little house. I never thought about doing something like that for the canids, but it makes kind of like a den on the bottom and then they've got a little, a little platform on the top. That is so cool. This is really beautifully built. All right. So let's see. Does that cover almost all of the new animals? <gasps> Look, we have another schnoggin. I actually think that the Indian elephants have some good schnoggins. And here is the Malayan tapir, another of the new animals that actually has another great schnoggin and that has been added in with the Southeast Asian pack and these guys oh beautiful coloring <laughs> look at how glorious they are oh these guys are very similar to the tapirs that we already have in the game however they have much more distinctive markings hello beautiful and they are actually from Malaysia, if I remember correctly. Let me double check. The Malayan tapir is a mammal native to the rainforest of Southeast Asia. The Malayan tapir's head, shoulders, and front legs are black, and their mid-body and back end is white. Not to be confused, my friends, with the panda, but I actually low-key think it'd be hilarious if we could get a panda in here to also coo over. They are endangered. The main threat towards this species is habitat loss through deforestation and the conservation of land for agricultural use. They are a protected species in Malaysia and Indonesia. Oh, they're so cool. Oh, we'll have to come in and make sure that our schnoggin bearing Malaysian tapirs are happy. And it seems like they are actually extremely happy. They have some enrichment in there to entertain them. Let's see. So now that puts us down from the Bamarusa, the Benturong, the Malaysian Tapir, the Dole, the Sun Bear. We don't seem to have a clouded leopard just yet, but we will definitely be searching for them and adding them in very soon. The proboscis Monkey and the eighth and final new creature that has actually been added in with this new pack happens to be one of my, oh, wait, the Dole, the Dole's already having her babies. What? Okay, I'm gonna have to name some of these babies after you guys. I do have the random comments generator pulled up from some of our previous Planet Zoo videos. So if you guys would like to end up becoming any of the animals that are born in our Planet Zoo adventures, then all you need to do is leave a comment of any kind down below. It could be a cool animal fact. It could be a name suggestion. Whatever it is, it could put you in the running. 
to be picked by the random comment generator to come and be a baby doll puppy! A gold quality baby doll puppy who is now going to be renamed Puppet after Elephant Puppet. What a cute name! And then we have another female, a another sister, who's actually going to be Sharon! Oh my gosh, Sharon, that is so hilarious that you actually got picked out of the random comment generator, but you are a loyal viewer of all of the Planet Zoo episodes, so I am not surprised. You have had a few animals in the Planet Zoo experience so far. And look at them! Oh, I'm so excited to have these puppies. Here, let's go ahead and get the dolls some nice treats to be able to play with because they are very low on that toy and food enrichment. And we definitely want the puppies to have a lot of exposure to things that will make them very happy indeed. So let's come on in. Species. And I think the first order of business... <gasps> a water pool! Yes, please! Like, I don't even really care how you managed to get this water pool in here. I want it in here because that just seems so cool. All right, their toy enrichment just went through the roof. But just in case, can I put a rubber ducky in the water pool? You can put a rubber ducky in the water pool! I love that. Okay, so now they're extremely happy for toys. Let's go ahead and add in some of that food enrichment. And we actually don't have any food enrichment for the dole yet. So let's get a staff member on that and we are actually going to have where's one of our vets so we have three vets and i wonder which vet is actually we need to find which work zone this is so this is the far side area which means we need to have the vet assigned to the far side to actually take care of them and do a little research about them that's pablo he's going to be renamed to dole uh dole hmm Diligent Dole, Dole Decker, maybe. <laughs> All right, this is just going to be Dole Researcher. And then I'll pull up the random comments generator for our patrons. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to all of our patrons who really helped to make all of our adventures possible. If you guys would like to join in on our private community discord, on getting postcards from me every month, if you would like to go ahead and get some sneak peek behind the scenes series videos and be in on helping us to make some of the biggest decisions on how to continue creating our pixel biology community, then do please consider joining our Patreon because it's really an amazing community who is driving the heart and soul of our whole pixel biology everything forward and I just can't thank them enough and in this case it's gonna be Annie Annie freaking fitting because you very much love painted wolves and now or excuse me painted dogs cough cough and now you are in here getting ready to research some dole hopefully that will work out well for you all right, and we're going to go ahead and boom, assign you to researching them. Fingers crossed there's actually a research zone in this area. We'll have to see it later. And let's see. Yeah, it looks like we're just missing two of the new animals in that case, which means we need to get ourselves a clouded leopard, my friends. So let's see. Is this habitat empty? Okay. This is the Binturong habitat. It looks so perfect for a clouded leopard. I kind of want to see if we can move the Binturong. Benturong! Could you by chance possibly hang out with any other species? Do you have interspecies? Oh, they actually have interspecies enrichment with Malayan tapir. You guys, let's move the tapir and the Benturong together and then put a clouded leopard in here. What do you think? I think we should do it. I think we absolutely should do it. I don't know if we should put them in with the sun bears? Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> I feel like maybe the sun bears might, like, really? Wow! Apparently sun bears and binturong get along together, but I I fear that sun bears might potentially... I don't know, I wouldn't think to blend them with a bear first thing. We've got to think about that kind of carefully. But let's see if we can get the last two of the new animals in today, because I know you guys are going to so, so want to see them, and I want to see them too. So Tapir... Alright! Oh wow, so this is where our Tapir actually are! Huh! I don't know if that's big enough for the Benturong as well, but there might be room to kind of stretch the exhibit along here. So let's try moving the Benturong over there. Even though this is such a perfect exhibit for them, we're just going to give this a little test. If it doesn't work, we'll fix it. All right, let's get them moved over here. 
And then let's go ahead and see if we can actually get ourselves a clouded leopard, because that would be very exciting. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. We don't need the Barbarossa. I want the clouded leopard, please. Can I see? Oh, wait. There they are. <gasps> you guys, look how beautiful they are. Oh my gosh. We absolutely need to get the clouded leopards in here. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll adopt ourselves a female who's actually from the custom seizures or... Here we go. We're going to adopt a clouded leopard from a rescue center. And then we're going to adopt... I think... Hmm. This extremely small male clouded leopard who is actually from a customs seizure. And then we're going to go ahead and move them. Here we are into the exhibit and we'll see if we're able to pull it off and make this a perfect place for them to roam. The Benturong might need a much, 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 much bigger area, so I could have just made this extremely tricky for ourselves, but I think it'll be worth it. And then finally, while we wait, let's wiggle in the last of the new animals and one of my favorite of all of its buggy kind. Let's get ourselves a little small animal exhibit if you don't mind and i have insignificant insufficient funds <laughs> insignificant funds oh my gosh i have insufficient funds for most of this but let's try this little eco stone okay that'll do this little eco stone exhibit and we'll lower it so that people can walk up to see what's going on there we go and we're going to change this from a potential iguana exhibit to a small exhibit for the last of the eight new animals that have been added in. The giant Malaysian leaf insect! Yes! Oh my gosh, and there's like a gold quality female from a rescue! Yes! We will adopt her! And then we will breed some of the most beautiful leafy of the leaf insects that we possibly can. Alright, let's go ahead and put them in here. And then we'll try to make their exhibit better for them. Whoa, it needs to not be 100 degrees in there, please. <laughs> Let's get the humidity down fast. All right, all right. And then we need to make sure that we can hopefully get... There we go. And can I add anything else in here for them? Not yet. We need to do some research on the giant leaf insect exhibits. But can we see where our beautiful... <gasps> Where our beautiful new leaf insects are. You guys! Hang on! Oh, she's so leafy! Oh, she's the best leaf! Oh, she's a good leaf! If you guys know that meme from Sir David Attenborough, then I will be very, very happy. Oh, heck. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna... Ah. I'm fighting with a rock. That sums up about half of what I do in Planet Zoo at all times. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now... Alright, alright, alright. And almost, almost, almost. Uh, I think this is as good as it's going to get. There we go. She's the best leaf, my friends. The beautiful Malaysian leaf insect. As the last of the new animals here in the Southeast Asian pack, I have to say I love a good leaf. And so I am absolutely in love with this edition. And one of the things I'm really looking forward to doing is to use these exhibits as quote unquote botanical gardens that I have scattered around my zoos. And basically saying that people are here to look at the, um, you know, to, to go ahead and give a, get a, a little look-see at the plants oh that's so fun i'm so happy that we have this one too and then finally let's check out <gasps> there we go the clouded leopard just as so many of you guys get so excited about the arrival of the canid or of the canids we have the felids over here with another new cat Taking over where just a moment ago we had Bintarong roaming, may I introduce you guys to the last of the animals that you haven't seen from the pack, the clouded leopard themselves with those big, beautiful, long tails and truly with a lot of adaptability and a lot of traits that make them, oh, there we go, we got flat cat, that make them well suited to the jungles that they are from. 
Oh, this is going to be so fun. But all right, we've already lost basically half the time that we have to try to make this challenge happen. Something tells me we're just going to focus on trying to get to bronze level at the very least. I do love to coo and ooh and ah over all of the new animals. But we're going to have fun. We're just going to enjoy this, you guys. We'll try to go ahead and unlock ourselves at least one of the early level statues. Because now, with every career scenario that you can complete, you can actually go ahead and get your a statue. You get some stone statues, bronze statues, and silver statues for completing the different levels of the scenarios, which is extremely exciting, that you can then use to decorate any of your zoos. And that's exactly what I have always wanted out of these challenges, so I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs> but alright guys, I think we might have no, no, no escapee just yet. I think we're going to have an amazing time exploring this new zoo and exploring with the new animals. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for our beautiful clouded leopard who does seem to be actually escaping. Oh, okay. That's actually going to be a little bit of an issue. Just a little bit of an issue. And if you guys would like to go ahead and join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.